Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on the new save file. We last played as um, Andromeda? Yeah, Andromeda, of course, and had a good old time as him. Uh, pretty, pretty decent. I'm gonna go as... Da, 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 da. Apparently we unlocked a Polyon at some point. I don't know when, we the, hell, when the hell we did that. Anyways, I haven't played as him yet, so let's give it a go. I literally do ha don't have any recollection of when we unlocked him. Is it for beating the Void, maybe? I genuinely have no idea what his unlock condition is. Anyways, as for today's question of the day, if I can say it before the game even manages to load, what's a, a game for you that really just is very nostalgic, that, that brings just great childhood feelings? I actually got to play one of my games of said type um, recently because I whipped out the good old PS2 um, and... Uh, played some RC Revenge Pro, which is basically, at the end of the day, a Mario Kart knockoff with RC cars. But God damn, do I love it. And the music, the music on that game, it slappeth so hard. It's very, very good. But yeah, a lot of fun. It's, it's a game that, like, do you know, something that I've experienced. I just want to sort of tangent a little bit off of my tangent here. Something that I've experienced is... Like, games used to be, like, a lot harder. <laughs> like, so, in 95% of... Uh, this can be really bad, but it can also be kind of interesting. Um, In, like, 95% of circumstances in racing games, the AI are poo-poo. Stinky, the easiest ever. Unless you're playing on, like, a super hard mode. Normally, the AI are just, like, not a problem whatsoever. This RC game, they do not fuck around. It is pretty crazy. Okay, what's what's this do? Do not steal my void charge. It sounds like an interesting item. Gives us damage, which I like. If uncleared room... In an uncleared room, occasionally small friendly car mines and leaves relic trail. Okay, I like that. Mainly just because we get a pretty decent damage up. Also, it has made our character look amazing, which I have to say I truly love. Oh no. Oh no, it's this item. Bollocks. It's the item that creates the slippy tar that affects us. Yeah, uh, I, I see why it gives a damage up now. Um, I, I always forget that with this item, the slippy stuff it creates doesn't just affect enemies. It affects us. It makes it a very bad item, in my opinion. Um, so I'm guessing this is why it comes with a damage up that's pretty high. Because uh, eh, you can get some really screwed up stuff here. Oh, don't you love it when your randomized prices end up giving you a 96, 96 cent soul heart. That is just rude to the nth degree. So fucking rude. Yeah, we're going to be slipping and sliding all over the darn place right now. And it is going to make me big sad. Oh, God damn it. Oh, God damn it. Oh, goddamn. Dodging things, like, with minute movements, like, making small adjustments, is genuinely going to be so hard. I will say the corn mines are doing a pretty good job of dealing some decent damage. And luckily they don't attack me. Like, they don't do any damage to me. You see, I make a minute movement to get out of the way, and it just slides me straight back in. The cha-cha slide right into this goober. I hate this. This item's going to... Tear me up. We got some luck and some shot speed. Not really what we're looking for, but I'll take it. Um, I'll I'll go downpour. Maybe we'll try and do a mother run. We'll see what items we end up getting. Honestly, brownie so far. It it damage wise, it puts us on a really really good path. But otherwise, it's it's pretty it's pretty horrendous. Damage wise, we're gonna be able to kill things reasonably a bit quicker. I wouldn't say significantly quicker, but a little bit quicker. A reasonable amount quicker. But taking damage is going to be something that happens on the regular due to the annoyance of how this works. Um, it's an interesting item because I do I do tend to like these risk-reward type items if, it, if this is actually done on purpose, which I assume it is. I assume that's why it comes with a decent sized damage up. Um, I kind of like these items where it forces your hand a little bit. You get a, you get a sort of an instant graphications reward, but it comes at a cost. And honestly, early game, the damage and the corn mines are going to be good, but late game, they're going to mean 
virtually nothing, and the slippy slideys are still going to be bothering the hell out of us. So it's one of those, you get power early, but is it really all that worth it? It's kind of a deal with the devil in a way, isn't it? There's always that downside. It's misinterpreted and misconstrued. We do have our two item rooms here. Luckily for me, I have exactly two keys. I wish. This is where I'd put my two keys. If I had to. Dun, 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 dun. Don't make me slide directly into the fire. I'm going to take pills here and get a health up. That is not what I was expecting, but I'm very happy about it. Right, come on game. Just a few little keys for me. Now, I don't remember what many of these enemies do. Also, on this floor, having corn mines down is scary. Also, I, I quite legitimately cannot move because the slippy sauce is preventing me from moving. <laughs> oh my god. Little pisser there. We did lose our devil deal, but I was pretty much just jotting that down as a guarantee that was going to happen, so... Uh, while annoying, I'm not too distraught about that, I'll be honest. But yeah, the slippy sauce and uh, the corn mines are a little bit distracting on Dross, because enemies tend to actually have those as their attacks. Ow. Stop just spawning more and more goobers. It just, it summons so much slippy sauce. Could it just calm down a bit? I realize I could go straight to my item room now and it'd probably be a good idea, but I want to get both keys first because it's more satisfying. Okay, I managed to kill this guy before he did, did his double dash, which I very much do not like. I was just about to say, don't you dare spawn something useful over that gap. I knew it was going to, it just, it had that look in its eye. That look meant I was about to be betrayed. I don't know if it's worth, like, checking the shops regularly, even when we have low money. Just because of the randomizing prices, we could get something dirt cheap. But I think, considering things cost 15 and they can scale all the way to 99, the average is going to be that they're going to almost always cost significantly more than they would have done otherwise. Which makes it kind of a, a dinky little poo-poo trinket. But the good thing is it has the chance to have uh, one with rapidly changing prices. There's where we where we get our value. Also, this this was an XL floor. There's like four rooms. I counted at least four. This is a bit depressing. Um, we're not gonna get our other key. I might have to do my mirror room just to try and make sure that I can get a key uh, for my other item room. I'm gonna take more damage here. Dark bomb might have been a little bit better. Six point six nine damage, baby. Right, yeah, let's let's go and do our mirror room. Just it's it's risky because we don't have holy mantle. I realise um, certainly ups the fear factor a little bit, but I want another key, and I'm willing to take a gamble, take a risk. That's just a penny. Also, the slippy sauce doesn't affect us when we have flight, so. That certainly changes my tune a little bit. There's a bomb. Okay, this is a little bit scary. Take you out first. Certainly not the greatest for us. You're gonna bugger off. There's our other key, okay. I'm going to do this other room just to try and get my knife piece, but this, this room scares the bejeebus out of me because it's got many, many things that are disastrous to my health. Including many explosions. These guys need to go, like, straight away. Okay. These guys are also... This is all terrible. So much of this is not how I'd wish it to be. Okay. Big explodey guy is dead. He is the main threat. Secondary threat is you guys. Get the hell out of here, little geebos. 
managed to pick up a rotten heart that I didn't really intend to pick up, to be honest. I just thought I'd pick it up as the lost and create some flies. Okay. We have achieved something. Right, what does that other item room contain? I'm guessing it's nothing, but I can't remember. It's nothing. Huzzah. Right. We have achieved something. We grabbed a key. We didn't die. It's all going quite well. I could try and get two extra boss items, but ain't no way I'm doing that without a holy mantle. I'll be honest. There just is no, no chance at all. Right. Now let's make our way over here. It's good that it doesn't do the poop slickies when we're um, when we're just walking through rooms. It only does it in combat. And for our troubles here, we gain the Eternal D10. Um, I'm going to just take the random. I'll be honest. Nah, I'm going to suck it. And we got speed and damage. Pretty ha uh, Speed and fire rate, sorry. Pretty happy with that. Gotta suck it, suck it, suck it real good. Um, I would like to go to my shop here, but as we have established, keys are an issue for this poor, poor child. And by child, I mean me. Right, let's do our boss. Let's not get hit, because we have a rotten heart. Oh god, I forgot we had two bosses. Also, you are annoying. Oh, uh, also just realised, we need another bomb. If we want to go continue on the alt path. We do not have two bombs currently. So we're hoping for a matchstick, or we're going to have to do more Mirror Realm rooms, which I'm not so enthused about the prospect of, I'll be honest. Also, poop slickies, don't get me hit here. I know you I know you want to. Okay, that was actually not too bad. Poop slickies, oh my god. Dude, I am sliding around like a motherfucker. Please stop. That is not what I wanted, and I also don't have a battery charge to suck you up. I guess I'll just take it. It's pretty horrible, but... Oh, we got Kakamancer. This guy's not too bad. I mean, I say he's not too bad. He's not too bad when you're not getting, like, slid around the room constantly. When you're getting slid around the room constantly, he might not be so fun. What on earth are you doing there, my good sir? Okay, thank you for diving directly into my mind. That does make me feel better. Okay, he's pretty much dead. It was a pretty quick kill on him, to be honest. Pretty quick kill indeed. Oh, ball sick. Okay, thank you. Ooh, will this give us a bomb? No, it'll give us a key, won't it? You bastard. Did he give us more fire rate though? Right. Okay. Alrighty then. Um, secret room is not something we want to go for right now because I'd like to keep my other bomb. Oh, I've got to bugger around with the bloody mirror path again. This might be a short run, boys. This might be a shorty. Now, something that I didn't think of doing prior is grabbing the, the chest that's over the gap. That's like an obvious out. We could get something tasty from this crate. Crate? Chest? I don't know why I said crate. And there it is. There's the bomb that we needed. Now we are going to have to go to the next floor as the ghost, which I do not like doing, but it's basically unfortunately mandatory for us right now. We go down, down, down. And yeah, we're going to have to complete one room while uh, while in this state, which I very much do not like the idea of, but um, we have zero choice in the matter. I don't know what these enemies do. But you fire rocks. Okay, we have done exactly that. We are out of the scaries. We are back into... The land of the living. Um, I'm going to bomb this. See what we get. We got just a key. And then void chest, unfortunately, are useless. What on earth is this head full of your contraption thing? So many enemies I've never seen. A little tech wizard? A little tech fella? Strange. Ooh, stalagmite boy. Driller boy. Little drill fella. 
Don't know what you do. Best not to try and find out. And here we go. And honestly, I'm sorry, Void Chest. You are going to be getting exactly one half red heart and nothing more from me. That may sound disappointing to you, but that's all you're getting. And you will repay me with, honestly, a nickel. That is pretty darn good. Also, how is this room not cleared? Why, why in the minimap does it say that room isn't cleared? Is it because I cleared it as a ghost form? Does it have a trouble registering that? Oh, this is going to be nightmare fuel, this. Stop sliding me a boot. You went right into that mine there, sir. They're good. God damn the slippies. The slippies. Truly, truly something to be feared. Okay, so you guys throw out rock spiders. So good job you didn't get to that chance to fire last time, because that would have annoyed me. Oh, dude. I did not realize that you could sling rocks at that distance. I thought you had a set distance. No, 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 you do not. Also, don't like the prospects of this room either. We've, we've already lost our angel deal. This is looking like a really solid mother run so far, isn't it? We're, we're, we've really got a, a, a really good run going on. Basically, the one item that we have going for us is also the one that's annoying me most. So, that's good. I mean, the good thing is we do have a lot of damage. I don't know if I actually need to kill these other little fires that are jumping around. I don't think I do. Okay, no, I don't. Hello, golden chest. That was worthless. Two pennies. Soul heart things. Hollow Knight looking motherfuckers. Don't you dare hit me with your bullshit. Huzzah. I have gained. Okay. This has made me more confident on living at least and maybe getting another I slid right into the fire <sighs> this is so frustrating this item sucks why'd I take it I like the problem is as well I have had this exact item in the past and I've had this exact issue with this exact item in the past and yet my my little feeble brain only reads half the description and then is annoyed by the outcome if I'd have just read a little bit further I could have fully understood what it did, and actually had an okay time. Uh, moments reduced to half health upon starting the fight also affects Mum's heart and it lives. Kind of interesting. Eternal D10, can you leave me alone? Shard of glass, no thank you. Range and shot speed up though. <gasps> Spicy. Oh yes, that's exactly what I'm looking for. My god. My annoyance is high. I thought that was a timid rock. Two more soul hearts to keep us going. Okay. Health-wise, things are looking just dandy. Kill the actual threats first. Take out the rock flies afterwards. Oh, we got um, this version of war. Summons the army on us. Ow. Ow. I'm slipping and sliding all over the damn place. Why does it trigger so often? Could it just, like, calm down a bit? It just all the time. I'm constantly producing this poopy liquid. I have a feeling I'm going to take a lot of damage in this fight. There is a lot going on here that... Frankly, I don't really understand. There's also a lot of fire for me to slip into. As shown here. See, we do good damage, but lining up to actually hit an enemy is very difficult. Oh god, his second phase is a bit scary. Oh god. Wasn't expecting that. Oh god. Oh god. I can't. I'm too slippy. This thing has a lot of health. Okay. We got the water tumors. That's pretty good. More fire rate. 
Oh boy, things are not looking good. <laughs> things are looking like they're gonna go downhill pretty darn swiftly here. If we keep our angel deal here, I'll be very surprised. We get a key off the bat though, which is nice. Shop still isn't that viable for us, really. What exactly is this? Oh, I see, I see. That was a little scary, but we got there in the end. Oh, we do have one of these things. Oh, God. Oh, God, what the hell's going on here? Come back to me, ghosty. Filling up the rock. It's filled. And we get the dark rock. Eh, it's not great, but I'll take it. I, I, I like the way it says slightly down and then gives you a full look down. Not slightly, that's a whole look. That's 100% of the look that I had. I love the music on this floor. Okay, taking some fat damage once again. Clickety clacks. The Chinese chicken. Please stop. Oh, what the hell are you? Oh! Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. I did not realise you were you had the ability to revive yourself. What on earth is going on here? Oh god, I'm so nearly dead already. I'm so nearly dead already. I apologise for this video. This has been truly something to to witness as a true example of failure in a man. The five cent vanilla wafer is pretty good. I will take that and be very happy about it, I'll be honest. Can we find out where the hell my shop is? Item room is good. Eternal bombs are pretty decent, but I'll accidentally walk into them and take them anyways. Um, I was going to say I won't take it. Don't worry, we got fire rate and damage out of it anyways, so pretty good. That bomb almost zoomed into me. Stat-wise, things aren't that bad, but we need something to offset the slippies. We, what we really need is flight. We need flight pretty desperately. Oh, this thing's doing the thing. I bought it for God knows how much. This thing's randomized too. So maybe, maybe a good idea is to re-roll 69. Nice. Until we get some another item. 69. Nice. Are they all going to be 69? Okay, all of them. All of the ones that spawn here are going to be randomizing. Okay, 2 cent. It's good stuff. Another 2 cent. That's good. Hmm. Two cent, that's good. And then we just like stand here and just wait until it lets us buy it. Okay. <laughs> I got it for one cent. <laughs> wait, with restock, this could be just hella broken, actually. Okay, we need more money, like, as soon as possible. I feel like I've discovered an interesting game break with restock here. Okay. One penny. We have one penny. And we just stand here and wait. And there you go. Eventually you just get it for one penny. Um, right. <laughs> that's, that's such an interesting break. I love that. Right, I want more money. I mean, we could do this on future floors as well, but I want to get enough health to, like, go to Mausoleum and feel happy about it. That is bombs. That is not money. That's a red heart, though. I do like that. There's more money. Good, good. 
Now, I wonder if with restock, the increasing prices affect the minimum price it can be. Orphan Socks gives us two soul hearts. I did just walk into that. Yes, I did. Oh, we get both. Okay. How on earth do we get over there? I'm guessing we just don't. Sadly, not much more money this floor by the looks of it. Again, a room that didn't clear properly. Right, back we go. Maybe second secret room could help us out, but where would that be? I mean, it, I feel like it has to be off of this little diddly room down here. It's not there. It could be to the left, to be fair. It is what it is. Right, let's take our one cent and go get another soul heart. Thank you. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, we got Clutch. Wasn't expecting Clutch. Not very well versed in how to fight Clutch, I'll be honest. As you can clearly see by the amount of times I've been hit already. Okay. Getting hit by the burns a lot. It's actually not that hard to avoid, but I'm dumb, so. Is this a champion version of him that's got the purple fires? I'm not sure. Okay, now that fires. Okay, now he's into his other phase where he starts doing things. Did get hit again there. Not gone so well. We managed to get a thingy somehow. Devil deal. I guess I'll take a peek. The randomized costs on these as well. Ah, you goddamn fire just hit me. Why? Why do you have to do that? Right. I'm going to take this. Because I think with this, I can get a lot more HP. Damn it, it's not randomizing anymore. <laughs> that didn't really work the way I wanted it to at all. Maybe they thought about that. Now that one is randomizing. See, the problem is... Now I actually have to, like, pause it to get a good deal. Okay. Didn't really work the way I wanted it to. Mausoleum. Here we come. Could just die on this next floor, but here we go. We need, we need to have one penny at a time, so it needs to be multiple on the floor. Righty ho. So we go in here. Some good money. I will actually just blow you up because you annoy me. So we leave those pennies on the floor. Good, good. That's all are you taken care of. Keep it moving. Random pill, which is a health up, nice. Empty heart container, but it's still good. Not great, and decent, decent enough. Right, take us to the shop as soon as you can, please. Guppy soul, pretty decent. Okay, these enemies can't die until all other enemies in the room die, I believe. I believe that's their gimmick. Which is kind of annoying because this enemy will take forever to uh, kill. There you go. Oh, 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 I got hit there by something. I don't really know what.
This this run went from like not very interesting to quite interesting pretty quick, but I'm still pretty scared. Especially considering these brains are just not cooperating at all. Dude, can the Eternal D10 fuck off? <laughs> it won't leave me alone. I don't want you. There's a reason I've not taken you yet, so please leave me alone. Got a tainted treasure room here, which I wasn't expecting. Oh my god, I just walked right into that guy. And globe and steal full heart damage as well. Bollocks. Things are looking a bit saucy for us right about now. Vanilla wafer saves us there, though. All shops are tainted sh uh, keeper shops. Shops spawn in the womb if tainted keeper is in the game. Attempts to spawn. Eh. That's potentially interesting, but I think the restock could be the thing that grants us infinite HP and stuff, so I'd rather stick with that. Okay, we found the boss. Not really what I was looking for. Extra key. No extra health on the floor. Oh wait, we do have some health up there apparently. Or oh, it's behind, it doesn't matter, it's behind the closed gates, isn't it? I can't get to it. Whoa, that was some speed that you came at me at there. Okay, there's another penny on the floor. Good, good. Not quite sure what you're doing. There's a homing shot getting closer and closer towards me. Don't know what you guys do. I don't know how much damage you do. You don't seem that bad. Okay, here's our shop. Just don't die in this room. We'll be fine. See you there, fire. Right. Now, let's see. So... Unfortunately, we didn't get a reroll machine, which makes this plan essentially imposs impossible, which is a real shame. Because we need a reroll machine to get the ball rolling, I think. I think this will not kill me. Okay, this 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 was a net gain in HP. Right, so I need enough to be able to buy Daddy Long Legs first. This isn't going to work out. I'm not going to get enough money to make this work, am I? This has been a dreadful shame. I'll still buy Daddy, Daddy Long Legs though, because it's good. I don't even know why it's in the shop, to be honest, but there you go. Oh, fuck. Didn't want to do that. Yeah, it didn't really work the way I was hoping it would. Don't know why I decided to go into this room, but I heavily regretted it. Especially getting hit by that guy. Just get off the fucking button! Didn't even need to press that button in the end. God. Oh my fuck. Game keeps confusing me. Damn it. No randomly changing prices on this bad boy. Okay, this didn't work in the way I wanted it to at all. One moment. Let's zoom, zoom, zoom to the boss. This is going to be dreadful. I reckon we die to this boss depending on what it is. Oh, it's the mother boss. Why, is it, why does it say depending on what it is? I know what it is. Oh, no, no, it's not. It's this guy. Okay, I'm probably going to die to this guy. I don't know how to fight this guy at all. He's a very cool boss, but confuses me drastically. I don't know what the hell's going on right now. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Very interesting episode. And I'll see you guys in the next one.